Organizations are increasingly investing in security solutions that provide additional protection for sensitive data, as well as better visibility over network traffic and endpoint activity. According to IDC research, 60% of organizations surveyed indicated that modern endpoint and network security products, such as sandboxes, were either a high priority or an extremely high priority over the next 12 months. The reason for this is clear. Sandboxing technology, a security mechanism for separating untrusted or unverified running programs and suspicious files and code from trusted ones, has been around for a while. But many of today's sandboxes are optimized, and they have the ability to operate much more quickly than ever before. Also, sandboxes now have the ability to leverage various forms of threat intelligence. This helps identify the latest threats and reduce the number of false positives. Best of breed sandboxes can now deliver signatures directly to network security appliances, such as UTMs and IPS, allowing for rapid remediation of new threats as soon as they're discovered. However, attackers have reportedly been able to bypass sandbox defenses in some cases. Therefore, organizations need to ensure that their sandboxing strategy remains effective. When implementing a sandbox, you need to ask your vendor how particular malware might avoid their sandbox's detection. How is that vendor ensuring that its sandbox solution is keeping up with the latest evasion techniques? And can it inspect encrypted traffic? Your vendor should also have the ability to evolve sandboxing methods as necessary, like rapidly addressing new evasion techniques of attackers. The solution should be able to look for malicious activity coming from the applications, from the operating systems, and even from the hardware. When evaluating a sandbox solution, consider the vendor's entire security expertise background. Look beyond just the sandboxing product and examine the overall capabilities of the vendor. Here are a few more questions just to get you started. Does the vendor provide threat intelligence? How experienced is the vendor security team? Do they have a security operations center, for example? How many people do they employ in a security function? And finally, does their sandbox have multiple layers? The ability to block until you have a verdict, and does the product inspect encrypted traffic? For more details on sandbox technology and evaluating solutions, I invite you to download the IDC paper Addressing Advanced Threats Through Multiple Sandbox Options, sponsored by SonicWall.